What's up, guys? We're back with another video, and uh, today we're going to be uh, talking about Lawrence Butler and how he can change the A's organization. So, um, Lawrence Butler, his debut was, uh, was on August was on August 12th, 2023, and it is um, August 15th right now, so he's played three games, three games so far. Two, I think, with the Nationals, and yesterday against the St. Louis Cardinals. And we're just going to talk about his stats, and then talk and just look at the A's roster and see how it can help. So, um, let's get into his stats. So, just so you know, he's only been playing three games, so he he's not going to have the best stats. But um, yeah, let's just get into his stats. And also to make sure to subscribe and like this video for more content like this. I don't do daily uploads now because I'm going back to school. So don't got, guys, do not get mad at me, okay? Because it's going to be a little hard to film. Okay, well, let's get into it. So um, um, we're not going to talk about his career. We're going to talk about his 2023 season. And his war is 0.0. .0. Uh, cause he hasn't had really a war yet, and then at and and he has fifteen at bats with three hits, and zero home runs, with a batting average of, um, two hundred, and with runs scored one, and RBIs zero, and then stolen bases zero, but it, um, OPS, is. Two hundred. And then his slugging percentage is actually pretty good. It's three, three um, it's three hundred and thirty-three. That's actually a pretty good slugging percentage. OPS, okay. On um, so um, OPS is five uh thirty-three, and his OPS plus is fifty already, which is actually pretty good. Not to not to, I'm not. I'm not saying Lawrence Butler's the god just yet, but he's definitely one of those future starring stars. So um, we're going to look at the A's roster now. So starting off in the left field, since Loriano's not on the team anymore, I think now in the Guardians, Tony Kemp is now in left. Then with Shea Langoliers at catcher, uh, starting pitchers, J.P. Sears, or like... JP Sears can play any any starting position starting pitcher or pitcher position. He can play starting, reliever, and closer really. He can do really all of those. Paul Blackburn and JP Sears. And then in center field they have the fast Estiri Ruiz. And then in right, JJ Blade. And since they got rid of Jace Peterson, and as Jace Peterson is not on their team anymore, they now um, we'll usually put either Lawrence Butler at third, or Butler would usually play center for right now. Um, he's playing center right now, but his position, or his, his position he's supposed to be, is, um, is a, is third base in shortstop. Uh, but he's playing first base, right field, and center field. So, because I think, uh, no, Ruiz is not injured, but he's just playing in the outfield, I think so. So, yeah. And then they also have, um, and um, then they also have another, or yeah, a shortstop, J.J. Blade or not J.J. Blade he's right field. Nick Allen at shortstop, um, pre pretty speedy guy, kind of like Tony Kemp. And then at uh, first base, Seth Brown, who's actually been doing pretty good. I don't know why they do not consider him as a good player, but whatever. He's he's an average. Okay, guys, uh, see you guys in the next one, and we'll talk about more about Lawrence Butler um, once he gets deeper into his career. So see you guys in the next one.